Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of Linux desktop environments. It's going to be an exciting ride. Um, take a breath. There's so much customization out there and whether you're a developer, a power user, or just looking to refresh your Linux experience, you're in the right place. So here's the deal. Linux isn't just about the command line. It's about creating a desktop environment that fits your personality and workflow. With over 25 million lines of code powering this ecosystem and more than 47% of developers already on board, the options are both rich and rapidly expanding. Let's kick things off with GNOME. GNOME, which stands for GNU Network Object Model Environment, is one of the most popular desktop environments out there. It's all about simplicity, ease of use, and accessibility. Pre-install on major distros like Fedora, Ubuntu, Debian, and more, GNOME offers a smooth experience and supports GTK-based applications and extensions that allow you to tailor your workspace exactly how you want it. Next up is um, XFCE. If you're looking to breathe new life into an older machine or just need something that won't eat up all your system resources, XFCE is your best friend. It provides a clean, visually appealing interface with minimal animations so your system stays fast. Plus, with hundreds of plugins available, you can tweak and personalize every little detail to match your style. Then there's KDE Plasma, arguably one of the most flexible and modern desktop environments available. KDE Plasma's uh, contemporary design, coupled with a Windows-like interface, makes it a hit for users transitioning from other operating systems. With its suite of unique programs like Dolphin for file management, Krita for digital art, and Amarok for music, KDE Plasma isn't just visually stunning, it's built for productivity and creativity. And if you're using Ubuntu, you might want to check out Kubuntu, which is KDE in its full glory. Moving on, Mate is all about keeping things simple and efficient. Born from the classic GNOME 2, Mate provides a traditional desktop experience that's light on system resources. This means even low-end hardware like a Raspberry Pi can run made smoothly. It's perfect for those who appreciate the classic look of early Linux days while still enjoying modern functionality. Now let's talk about Cinnamon. Developed by the Linux Mint team, Cinnamon takes the intuitive design of uh, GNOME 3 and combines it with a classic familiar layout reminiscent of GNOME 2. It's designed for users who crave uh, a traditional desktop feel but don't want to compromise on modern features. Cinnamon offers a great mix of elegance, simplicity, and functionality, making it a top choice for those who want a refined yet powerful desktop experience. Deepin Desktop Environment, or DEE, originally emerged for the Deepin Linux distribution, and it's truly a visual treat. With its stunning and user-friendly interface, Deepin focuses on simplicity without sacrificing stability or security. What's cool is that although it started as a distro-specific environment, Deepin is now compatible with several distributions like Arch Linux and Manjaro, allowing you to bring that eye-catching design to your favorite Linux setup. Next, we have Budgie, a desktop environment that elegantly marries modern design with a traditional layout. Budgie isn't particularly heavy on system resources and its minimalistic yet elegant design makes it a standout choice. The official Ubuntu Budgie variant is a testament to its versatility, showing that even when you keep things simple, you don't have to sacrifice style or functionality. Pantheon is another fascinating option. Inspired by macOS, Pantheon features a clean, stylish design with a dock at the bottom that organizes your applications beautifully. It's it's the core of elementary OS and brings a level of polish and unity to your desktop that's hard to beat. While it doesn't offer as much customization as some other environments, its out-of-the-box experience is so refined that it feels like a breath of fresh air. For those who need something ultra lightweight, LXQT is the way to go. It's the modern successor of LXDE designed to be minimal in terms of resource usage, which makes it ideal for cloud servers, legacy systems, or any device where performance is key. LXQT doesn't hold you back. It's simple, functional, and incredibly efficient. And now, for something truly out of this world, introducing the cosmic desktop environment. Um, picture this, a desktop environment that not only delivers powerful customization 
and an advanced responsive design but is also built to enable custom OS experiences. Designed for users, developers, and makers on any device with a screen, Cosmic is set to revolutionize the way you interact with your computer. Cosmic is currently in its alpha phase, and while you might run into a few bugs, the stability is high and the visuals are simply stunning. Written in the Rust programming language, it offers enhanced stability, security, and performance. One of the coolest features is its modular architecture. Linux distributions can easily package Cosmic with their own brand colors, panels, docs, and applets, making it a truly customizable experience. Whether you're on Fedora, NixOS, Arch, or even OpenSUSE, there are tailored instructions available to help you get started. So, which Linux desktop environment should you choose? It really depends on what you're looking for. If you want a feature-rich, visually appealing environment with a Windows-like interface, Cinnamon or KDE Plasma are excellent choices. On the other hand, if your system has limited hardware or you prefer something more uh, resource efficient, MATE or XFCE might be just right. And if you're feeling a bit adventurous, why not try out the Cosmic Desktop environment, especially if you're running Pop OS Key 24.04 LTS Alpha or one of the supported distros. It's a chance to explore a fresh futuristic take on your desktop. It's truly a cosmic experience that blends functionality with a stunning visual appeal. All right, that's it for today's deep dive into Linux desktop environments. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, hit that like button, subscribe for more tech insights, and drop a comment below telling us which environment you're most excited to try. Until next time, happy customizing and keep exploring the cosmos of Linux.